Everyone hates building a helix, right? Well, not if you do it this way. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 6 of my series on building a new model railroad. If you want to follow my progress, make sure you click on the subscribe button below and click on that little bell icon to be notified of all my upcoming episodes. A lot of people want a multi-level layout, but they sort of hold back because they will hear these horror stories on building a helix. They've seen people build helixes and talk about the challenges on building one of those helixes. I've looked at a lot of videos on building helixes and I can see what people mean when talking about challenges on building these. However, I need two helixes for my layout, so I had to find a method that suited me. And I came across this company in Germany that builds these helix kits. And I had a look at what they had to offer and thought, this is perfect. This solves all the issues I've seen other people have. And a friend of mine bought one of their kits recently and put it together and it just looks so simple and it worked really well. It's good quality and it was simple to put together. So I thought I might as well go for it and give them a try. So as you saw in episode 5, I did a bit of testing on what size helix I was going to order and it arrived and now I'm going to show you how I put it together. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and then you'll see me start putting the helix together. So let's get on with the build. Well here we go. This is the helix kit. Fresh in from Germany. So let's see what's inside it. Okay, so here it is. So this is what the kit looks like. It's looking impressive so far. And so what I've ordered, I've ordered four and a half levels for the helix. And as you can see, here are the curves for that. And they are, I think this is close. I think this is six mil ply. It's all nicely laser cut. Very neatly done. And important threaded rods. So that's going to be interesting putting using those. I've never used these before, so I know a lot of people use them for helixes, but um, first time I'm using them. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got Oh, that's quite useful. Um, instructions. Very, again, very useful to have. And all nicely colored photographs, very explanatory. It's all in German, but that's okay. I understand a bit of German. And obviously there's also Google Translate. And uh, see what else we have here. Okay, so, ah, oh, yes. That's what these, these are the transition pieces for the end. So there are a few of those in there. And all the nuts and washers for the threaded rods. And these are to join the curves together. So these go underneath, all screws together, holds everything in place. So, really, so far, very impressed with the quality. It's uh, all nicely cut, all with notches and everything. It's very, very professionally done. And um, my next step is to just put it out on the floor, see the size of it, get a piece of um, plywood that I'm going to mount it on. So I just need to purchase that piece of plywood and then start assembling it. So that's the exciting bit. So that's next up. So my first step was to test fit the helix on the ground. I put it together and then put the track on top of it just to see how the track fitted. I can see I need to make a slight adjustment to the track to make sure there's enough clearance between the threaded rods and the rolling stock. Next step was to do a test fit including the threaded rods up to the height required at the end of the first level. 
I then put the track down and included two trains that would be typical of the type of train running up the helix, just to make sure there's enough clearance between each other and the threaded rods. Now it's time to start building the helix. Well, here's the first level of the helix. I've just been testing to see how it fits in um, in the location it's going to go. Now it's going to go lower down over here. I've just put it on top of a border on top of the existing um, old layout board at the moment, just so I can get to it and just see how, how I get the levels right. So the instructions that come with it um, give you options of distance between levels. I'll put this up on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but basically it just gives you different, the different scales um, and then the distance between the levels and then depending on that level um, that you want, between it, depending on that distance that you want, it then tells you what level to put each section at. Each of these threaded rods has got a, a letter on it, um, which I've torn off here, but you can basically, it basically goes from A to F. Um, and on their diagrams, they'll show you, so um, threaded rod B and the distance between the base level and the bottom of bottom of the plywood at level B and that distance is determined by your left column which is the distance between the levels so it shows you for instance I'm choosing seven centimeters uh, between the levels and it tells me that at this first section over here I need to be at two and a quarter centimeters height so it just tells you so as you go around it gives you the exact measurements you need to get to to get to the seven centimeter level which is going to be over here. Now, as you can see, I'm using the track I'm using, which is the Cato Unitrack and my highest cars, which will be an auto rack and a well car. And that will determine the height. So I'm choosing a decent amount of clearance. And so that will be my seven centimeter between the levels. So seven centimeters from the top of that to the top of that. And based on their, their diagram here, I've used the levels they've given at each threaded rod. So I just continue with that all the way around, just adjusting as I go using the measurements I give here. And eventually I'll get up to the level I need, which will be, um, which will be four and a half levels high. So as you can see here, this is half a level and this is a complete level. So I've basically done one level so far. So as we go around, I'll just give you a overview of the levels I've got up to. Once I've done that, I'll know the exact height I'm going to be doing between the levels. So between the base base layer, which will be my um, staging yard level, up to the first level of the layout. So I'll know exactly what distance and I'll be able to set the level of the first level of the layout based on that. So once I've completed the helix, everything will be all varnished and protected from any moisture that comes in. So let's get started on the build. So what I'm using is from a Dremel. This is a sanding disc or type of sanding disc. And I'm going to be using this to get this, the nut down the threaded rod a lot quicker. So let's see how it works. As for the washer, well, just let gravity do that. Just to show you how this helix is put together, it starts off with a nut at the bottom. You adjust the height according to the scale given. Put the piece of ply on 
and thread the rods through it and then put another nut and a washer on top of it to hold it in place same on the other side and then you just repeat the step for each level so again a nut and a washer the ply then a washer and a nut and you just carry on going as you go up now when you get to the end of a section you want to join the other section you'll use these little joining pieces so it's a short piece of wood and just so same level same same method again you do nut then this piece then your sections washer and nut and then the same here so you'll have this base plate over here with the nut and a washer underneath it then a level nut and washer to hold it in place and then the next level will attach over here and again a nut and washer as you go along and then you just carry on so i'm just doing seven centimeters between the levels so that's from measured from the top of this level to the top of that level which is enough clearance for the auto racks and for the well cars and i'm just going to carry that all the way around I'm now on um, level two and um, we'll carry on. So I hope that inspired you to give Helix building a try. Luckily with these Helix kits, it makes it a really easy project and doesn't make it as daunting as building your own one from scratch. Obviously, it's up to you what you do. Um, I just prefer to spend more time building the actual layout than building the, the baseboards and the, and the Helixes and that. I'm not a great woodworker at all. I just try looking for the easy way out. It costs a bit more, but it's a lot easier and it's a lot quicker. Now remember this, this company I ordered from is a German company, so it was fairly um, cheap for me to get it shipped over to the UK, whereas, which is where I am. So for those of you in the United States, Canada and Australia, and where else you're watching this video, um, I'm sure there are companies in your country that provide Helix kits as well. I know in the States there are numerous companies that do baseboard kits. I'm sure some of them will do Helix kits as well. So if you know of any companies, please put the details in the comments section below just so you can let other people know um, what's available in, in your area. I'll put details in the description below of the company I ordered from for those who want to order from it, um, if you're based in the United Kingdom or if you're based in Europe. Bear in mind this company's website is all in German. Their English version of the website isn't complete, so it's best to just use the German, German side of it and just use Google Translate to work your way through it. Um, I managed to just have a Google Translate open on the one side so I could see exactly what they were saying and then I just followed the order process on the German side of the website. Uh, fairly seamless and it, it, was, it was with me within a week. So in the next episode, coming up in a week or so, I'll start putting the track on. Hopefully the track will have arrived by then and then you'll see how easy, easy it is the way I've done it. So make sure you click on the subscribe button down below and click on that little bell icon to be notified when my next episode is due. In the meantime, keep well, stay safe, and see you soon.